Today's October 9th, 2021. It's a Saturday. I put up today uh, this for uh, the calyx that I'm currently in uh, with uh, almost semi-collapse, but in my personal tunnel. Um, I had a tail um, sent in, I don't know by which... Um, one of the 46 administratives or executive administratives um, or perhaps it could have been see there's 46 presidents that have been seated in the United States of in the United States so Google reports which I have no way of verifying then 48 lower states lower than Canada on a repoggle and then there's 50 stars on the uh, flag for which this current place on terra firma um, pledges their allegiance to at the moment. Um, now, I just ran into Miguel. He had on a what I call bomber jacket. It was not a leather bound bomber jacket like the movie Stealth when they met me at um, Roadhouse with Frank Falco. When they came to the billiard hall that night, they had a brown leather bomber jacket on with beautiful patchwork on it. And I believe they were somehow um, real and sponsored. Mikel uh, just came. Um, he's got a 1990s um, vinyl jacket that we called bomber jackets, custom to Long Island in the 1990s. John Price from Hicksville, over by where Grumman used to be. I used to hang out with Nicole Morocco and Christine Vital. Um, I think it was Christine Vital, or no, Christine Vital dated John Price, something along those lines. But John Price was local in the Hicksville area, or Levittown area. And we were by a um, state, um, it was like a card store, but like an outdoor, I don't know retail center that parking lot I used to go with Nicole Morocco because I had nothing better to do and that was what the local teenagers would do we just stand around and look at each other nothing really much to say but the big thing back then everybody was walking around with bomber jackets which were olive green on the outside and bright orange on the inside um, and some of them were navy blue and orange, some were black and orange, but Mikkel actually has patches sewn on his um, from wherever he was involved with navy and with the seals and decorated. Um, so I just ran into him and I asked him to explain it. Apparently his squadron, he said, was in Kuwait. He wasn't there, but he got the patch from his people about the Kuwait whatever. I know that was incredibly important at Flash something or other. Um, he showed me uh, some of the planes. Again, none of the symbols looked familiar to me. One had, f I asked how many stars around the Liberty Bell, and I counted 13 um, with the Liberty Bell with the crack in it. Um, but again, I know that one Kuwait was really important that he has the patch. He's got a green bomber jacket and bomber jacket, I say, from Long Island, 1990s. So century 19, decade nine, somewhere between year one and year five or six. Um, they were selling them on Long Island. Um, and that was a big South Shore purchase. Because um, at that time, even though I was living on the North Shore, I would visit the South Shore to get to know their teenagers uh, while I was attending St. Dominic's in Oyster Bay. We all went to school together. Um, and I went to Hicksville to learn what those children did on the weekends, since normally I was kept in Cold Spring Harbor on the North Shore by myself in just my room, reading um, and studying. So um, I went to go see what they did on the weekend, which was mostly just walk around and try to find one another because there was no cell phones 
and there was no anything, so to find a meeting spot, like they had a meeting spot to go to whenever you needed something before cell phones and beepers. But back then, I think we some of them had beepers, and you beep them, and then they go to the spot, and then they meet you there. I don't have that anymore because I'm not in high school, and I don't have a group to invite me in. So I'm star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Caterusa. Um, I'm in Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. This is an unfamiliar territory to anybody who knew me in Cold Spring Harbor. Um... I'm Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken. This is the place I left to go to Cold Spring Harbor and Lloyd Harbor to grow up in that niche, we'll call it N-I-C-H-E, privately. And then this is where we came back around Clinton when my father lost the business because he got sued by someone for something which I never really understood. And then the whole business got taken away, and we moved in with my grandfather. And I've been, they've been here ever since. They haven't moved out.